Hello, and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about Do Your Whiskey. I got this kit from my wife for Christmas. It's called Do Your Whiskey. They started as uh, Do Your Gin. And in the last year or so, I believe they've come out with this kit called Do Your Whiskey. It comes with an incredible assortment of stuff. There's uh, the wood flavor chips up here at the top and the botanical flavors at the bottom. There's also two bottles that you can use. There's uh, strainer cloths. There's even uh, metal ice cubes. And of course the, the cork tops for the bottles. Um, but what it lacks is uh, instructions. It just says, you know, you could do this, or you could do that, or you could do whatever you want. Um, so after a little bit of research and talking to some friends who enjoy bourbon as much as I do, um, I came up with a plan. So I went to uh, uh, Total Wine and got uh, two bottles of Buffalo Trace White Dog Mash Number 1. Um, open it up, tried to sample it. It's terrible. Um, but it's the base for just about everything, including this Buffalo Trace, which has been thoroughly enjoyed. Um, it's 125 proof straight out of the bottle. Um, so then the process is pretty simple. You pick a kind of wood. I decided to go with, uh, this one, it's called uh, American Sweetheart. Um, I only used half the vial. It says for a 375 milliliter bottle to use about, about half that. So uh, there's two American Sweethearts, two dark chocolates, and two uh, vanilla dreams. So essentially, you can get quite a few bottles of bourbon out of this, at least the 375 milliliters. So what we have here is the white dog mash number one, only after, uh, where are we at now? 37 days in the bottle. I don't know if you can see them, but there's, there's wood chips in there. Um, at 30 days, uh, my friend Mike and I sampled the bottle. Uh, it wasn't quite there yet. So I'm gonna take another sample out of this course don't want to cut into the profits by drinking too much of it but as you can see there's quite a difference in the colors if you could smell you would know that there's a quite a different nose on this I'm just gonna go very light on this it smells better than the, the uh, clear that was in that bottle that's for sure just a little bit. Hmm. All right. That's starting to settle in. That's good stuff. Very good. So uh, I'm not much about tasting. Uh, I, I couldn't really tell you the flavors. If somebody told me the flavors, then obviously I'd be taught to the test, which, uh, you know, that doesn't benefit anybody. So I'm not going to pretend like I know, uh, what I'm tasting. I just know what I like and what I don't like. Um, and I like that so far. So, uh, just to give you an idea, the, uh, the few instructions that I can find on the internet are very basic. It says to put the chips in for a while and then, um, put the botanicals in for a while and then, strain them off and uh, drink your bourbon. So um, if for no other reason, I am just going to, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and go with uh, a cinnamon botanical. Um, I thought about putting cinnamon in it anyway. So I'm just gonna go with a cinnamon botanical. So we're gonna crack the seal here, you can see. I'm gonna crack this seal. Go. Yep, smells like cinnamon. 
crack this bottle. There we go. I'm just gonna put some cinnamon in here. Now I'm probably not gonna do a, a half vial, uh, just simply because I don't want an overpowering cinnamon flavor. So just a just a few chips here and there. Obviously, it's not going to smell that much different. Um, I'll put the lid back on and uh, give it a shake. I will tell you that uh, living here in Florida, we've had some pretty pretty cool temperatures lately. So um, I actually have a reminder on my phone for six o'clock every night. Um, I either walk by and shake the bottle or uh, I will take it outside if it's going to be particularly cold that night, uh, almost like to accelerate the aging process and get the heat cycle. Of course, being in the house, it's not going to get that heat cycle. So I want to encourage, uh, you know, the expansion and contraction of the of the wood and the and the particles in here to try to accept more of the more of the flavor going into the bourbon. So that's all we got. We got a bottle of American oak uh, and cinnamon. Um, we'll call this Wilson Trace. Um, so today's the 7th of February. I am going to leave this in for seven days and uh, be back with another video. And eventually, maybe it'll taste even better than the real thing.